Hey guys, this is Rental Animal and Stock Option, and we're here to answer some of your questions that we've received on our forums. So let's get started. All right, so the Silver Wolves are these group of uh, kind of bandits that are in one of the northern towns that go on drunken raids every once in a while. Uh, as you guys have noticed, they've come in and uh, invaded your outpost in the last couple days, and that event is leading up uh, to the next update, which is coming out shortly, which has a bunch of missions and uh, wraps up the final encounter with Gantus. It'll be a lot of fun. You forgot about the bars. And the bars and gears, that's true. So uh, the Silver Wolves are bringing with them a ton of bars and gears, which you need for uh, some of the new units that are coming out in the next update, including the heavy tank. We have a lot of fun. Yeah, it's tons of fun making these games, you know, coming up with the ideas and uh, taking them all the way through from concept to actually, you know, creating the characters and the storylines and bringing it all to life is a really a blast. Plus, we work with some really awesome people. Yeah. Um, really intelligent and creative, and it's it's just a blast. And it's great working with people that you love working with and just getting that, that energy that uh, we think translates into the game. Yeah, so air and water units are both things that we would love to add to the game. Um, it's uh, We're kind of actively trying to figure out how it works in with the storyline and making sure that it all makes sense and is also fun and compelling and doesn't bifurcate the game too much. Uh, so there, there's a lot of considerations, but it's definitely something we're interested in. Ooh, great question. Uh, will real nanopods be featured in the store? Well, there's actually some really awesome exclusive items coming to the store in the next couple months, so you have to keep your eyes open for that. Oh, and if you didn't know, Battle Nation's uh, store is now open, so you guys can go on and order stuff. And actually, for watching this video, you, we're going to give you an exclusive 40% off all purchases. Uh, you, yeah, 40%. That's pretty, nice. pretty good. You have, to, you have to use this code right here, though. Right if you here. don't use that code, you're not going to get 40% off. So this use this code. This one. This code. You see it? Okay. Cool. So the cutscenes and the little comics that we do are integral to the storytelling process. And we definitely, as long as there are updates with new missions coming out, uh, cutscenes uh, will definitely be a part of that. Uh, they're a lot of fun to make and really do a great job of telling the story, moving it along in kind of an animated fashion that you don't necessarily see uh, in this genre very often. Uh, so when Trade Nations first launched, uh, the level cap was actually 20, and we slowly added, uh, I think the first update was 25, and then 35 going on from there. Uh, and we would love to be able to, you know, have a really high level cap in Battle Nations, but with that high level cap comes new units, and balancing those units in combat to make sure they're fun and effective, new missions, writing those missions along with those cutscenes. Uh, there's a ton of work that goes in, and we're working really hard to get that out to you guys. Uh, but we really want to make sure that when we put out an update with a level up increase, uh, that there's fun content all the way through and there's uh, something new to enjoy that's not just a higher level. So matchmaking for PvP is determined uh, on a, diff a couple different ways. So when you queue up, it looks for players that are your same level, because we want you guys to have access to the same types of units. Um, and then it looks at the army that you're bringing and tries to match it on a relative uh, ability level with your opponent. Uh, and it's not super strict, it'll slowly widen itself over time to make sure that you get a match. Uh, but it tries for the closest match that it can, and then we'll expand from there. What happens if you eat a nanopod? Uh, We've talked about it. We have talked about it. It's really not good. I, I, you didn't do it, did you? Like, I would not recommend it. It's no, terrible. No, no. I, I mean, I heard from one of the designers that you don't die, for one. You definitely will not die. It's but worse than that. So much worse. It's much worse. You'd want to die from it. Yeah. Uh, it'll start reconstructing the food in your stomach. Uh, so if you eat a burger, there is now a cow that's being reconstructed, and it's, it's bloody, and I just don't. So we're looking at a lot of cool ways that we can uh, have players customize their army and be able to actually level up their units. Uh, so as we talked about in the State of the Empire post that we made a couple, uh, couple weeks ago, you're going to be able to engage in combat with your army, and then as you use units more and more, they'll be able to level up, and from there they'll get stronger and more hit points, all that fun stuff. And we're looking at ways we can expand that system further to uh, influence things like you guys talked about with ammo and, uh, and cooldown and fun stuff like that. So it'll give each player 
really the ability to customize what they think is important and like the types of units they really like, they can specialize and have those units uh, blow stuff up a little bit easier. It's a great uh, opportunity for you guys to uh, breathe new life into the units that you loved in the earlier right. stages of the game. Uh, I, for one, I'm going to do it for my Flame Trooper, bring him back into battle. Yeah. It, it's going to be a great way to take those units that were available before and might have been outpaced a little bit by some of the newer stuff and bring them and make them a little bit more relevant again. We will be updating Battle Nations forever. Uh, yeah, so Trade Nations came out in November 2010, and we as a company are still producing updates and content for that game to this day. Expect nothing different for Battle Nations. What you guys have played up to this point is like the first half of Chapter 1. The update that's coming out after the Silver Wolf promo uh, will kind of tie up the end of Chapter 1 and opens us up for a, a bunch of more chapters that we have planned that will uh, introduce new villains and new heroes, new units, and new cool mechanics to really enjoy different aspects of the game. Uh, I'm really excited for where it's going and uh, expect a lot more from us. Thank you guys for watching. We had an awesome time making this. I uh, hope we answered your questions to your satisfaction. Um, uh, if you have any concerns or comments or want to tell us that the video sucked, the video is awesome, whatever, just answer below. Tell us, tell us in this post what you thought. Uh, we hope to do more of these in the future, and we really love to get your feedback. Definitely. Yeah, I expect a lot of more Q&As to come. Uh, really excited to be able to, to uh, answer you guys' questions this way.